So, uh, guys, for today's video, we're gonna take the truck to the scales. We're gonna see how much this big old mega cab actually weighs uh, in full weight. So, I'm guessing that it's somewhere high 7,000s, but I really don't know. I've never weighed a truck that I've ever had. I've never weighed anything like this. I don't know what to say, but it is full weight right now. We have an empty back seat, but the seats are in it. It has sub box in the back of that, and there's a toolbox in the bed of the truck. The bed does not have anything in it, and I'll show you that when we get to the scales, but um, full weight. So we're gonna see how much the truck weighs uh, here at the scales, just a minute. Um, for those of you who have been following along, we just got done fixing the header that was cracked and leaking, so, uh, but still looking good. It's still driving good. Uh, been driving it around for about 30 minutes to an hour now, and it seems like it's gonna be fine. So we'll be going to the track tonight, but for this video, we're just gonna get the weight uh, at the scales. So here we go. See you guys on the scale. All right, guys, we're here at the scale. There you go. I'm not gonna be able to reach this button. Ugh. Oh, there it is. I see the button. First way or leeway? First way. Alright guys, they're weighing it right now, but as you can see, there's nothing in the bed. There's nothing in the back seat. Your number? It's a personal vehicle. Okay, we'll just do zero one. That'll work. So, let's we'll see how much this thing weighs. Uh, should be done here in a second, and I'll just go in and get the get the numbers, and I'll show you guys. All right, so you're good to go. All right, you guys, I have the weigh-in in my hand. The printout for the weigh-in. So, this truck, the Hemi Mega Cab full drive that I decided to make a project out of and try to make fast because people said I couldn't do it. Um, this truck that we're still working on um, and still has a lot to come and a lot to do weighs, the battle wagon weighs, drum roll please, 7,180 pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's heavy. Now, it's not as heavy as I thought it was what's going to be. I was thinking about... 76 78 but yeah 7180 pounds that's how much it weighs um the steer axle is weighing in at 40 40 and this drive axle is weighing in at 31 40 so pretty even split on the truck um that's probably why i haven't really had too much traction issues uh thus far so there's that but um you guys that's the weigh in of the truck so there you have it the battle wagon weighs 7180 pounds full weight fully dressed so uh now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go home we're gonna take the toolbox out we're gonna take the rear seats out and the subs out and then once i do that i'm gonna leave the tool tailgate on but i'm gonna take the those three things out we'll come back and get a reway it's only three dollars to get a reway and we're gonna see what the truck weighs if i was to fully race prep it um chances are i'm not gonna do that all the time if we go to the drag strip but i'm thinking that i will this next time i'll just leave it uh race prep so Anyways, guys, I'm going to go home. We're going to get this thing stripped down uh, to that race prep weight and then come back and weigh it again. So, here we go. All right, got the toolbox out and some trash to clean up. But the toolbox is out. Now we're going to pull out the seats. I believe, unlock the door, I believe that the seat bolts for this rear seat are all 18s. So, let's look here and have a... Yep, they're 18, so I'm gonna pull the seat out, and may or may not pull the subs, but I'll decide once I get the seat out if I wanna do that or not. So, let's get going and pull this seat out. Whoo, absolute pain in the neck to get this seat out. Man, overkill on the bolts, guys. Definitely overkill on the bolts. There's these 18s that are strung in through here. There's some 13s, but you don't pull those off because those just bolt the seat to the seat bracket. So just pull the 18s and get the whole thing off in one piece. I'm going to re-thread these into their holes so they don't get buggered up or anything, especially because you can see the ground through them. But those are going back on with WD-40 because they were a pain in the neck to get off. Let me tell you, 
Like, I think I pulled something <laughs> trying to get them, but we got them. So, yeah, bunch of bunch of 18 millimeter bolts. I think I'm gonna leave the subs in there, um, but I'm not 100% certain on it. I'm gonna get this put in the house so that it's not, um, so that way it's not just sitting out here <laughs> outside. And then I'll decide and make my decision on whether or not I'm going to pull the subs out. That the subs don't weigh much. I can strong arm it with one hand, so I mean maybe a hundred pounds. Probably not going to. I like my boom boom, so I think I'm gonna keep my boom boom in the truck. Alright, so I went ahead and pulled the subs out. They were kind of wiggling around back there without having the seat to kind of hold them in place. So subs out which is probably less than 100 pounds, honestly. The seat, man, I don't know. I don't want to take a guess at that. I could not lift it myself. It's, a, that thing is heavy. Then the toolbox, that thing weighs a lot too. So got all that stuff out and we're gonna head to the scales. Um, it weighed 7180 with it at full weight. So I'm guessing that it's probably gonna be somewhere 68, 67, somewhere in there. But we'll find out, beat the scales in a minute. All right, we're pulling back up to the scales now. Uh, only $3 for a reway within 24 hours, so we're gonna do that. We'll hop out and push this button, and we'll see how much it weighs. Hello, first way, reway. Reway? Four digits on the lower left side. Three, eight, seven, three. Thank you for using the scale. Go ahead and pull out the scale. I'll see you inside. All right. All right, guys, just to prove it again, nothing but trash in there. And there are no rear seats and no sub box. So. Let's go inside and let's see how much it weighs now. All right, you guys, so uh, just got the ticket. So the weigh number is the same on both of these. So I'll show you that to prove that this is the same reweigh of the same vehicle and everything. Um, but the weight after pulling all that stuff out is 6,680 pounds. So I guess pretty right, um, but 6,680 pounds which means we lost exactly 500 pounds. It's quite a bit, um, if my math is right, that's exactly 500 pounds. So here we have it. Um, and there it is, that's before. This is our weigh number, okay? That's what time I did it. And then here's our after. There's the time, there's the weigh number, see, matching, and so, yep, 500 pound weight loss by doing that, and I imagine most of that is coming from the toolbox and the rear seats, so, there it is, guys, um, nobody guessed on the actual weight, <laughs> so I guess y'all didn't want to win anything, but we're going to go racing now, uh, all but ready to go racing um that's tonight but that video won't come out till probably to monday or something of the racing because there's a lot of filming that i'm gonna do for that but i gotta go help my friend he decided he's gonna try to replace his heater core right before going racing so we're gonna try to get that busted out really quickly it's already five o'clock so uh, i want to get out of here by seven he's almost done i'm gonna go help him with that but you guys uh thank you for watching build motorsport and i'll see you on the next one racing